Welcome back to the Haunted Mansion Tournament Expert Division qualifying round hole number six. Here we're going to be sending a Kingmaker or King Slayer type ball down to a sniper bounce up shot. Uh, I recommend, personally, I recommend using a Wind 4 King Slayer Centurion type ball. Give you a better chance at the drop. That's kind of where these uh, the tweaks that I'm going to give you for the approach shot are done using a wind four ball. So if you do use a wind three ball, understand that you're going to have to tweak the offsets a little bit for your approach shot. For the drive, it's P3, no move target. <clears throat> Six top, two right, P3 plus 0% max numbers. No push up, full controlled overpower, half a ball of right curl. Generally, get everything, uh, you know, 420 plus here. You can catch a dead bounce with a great left. That might uh, run you short and you might end up having to use top spin. In which case, if you're using top spin, make sure that you leave the, uh, the tip of the ball guide well short of the hole. If you have to use, say, three top spin or more, then you probably only want the tip of your ball guide to be going onto the green by about two squares. Otherwise, you're going to come in too hot. <clears throat> but most of the time, you're going to roll out 420 plus. The adjustment for the approach shot is P3 plus 55% <coughs> at slider. But here what I'm doing is I'm always pushing up 10 rings and playing it at 25% slider. All right. So I find man, push up 10 rings. I'm going to play this 25% slider. <clears throat> I'm always going to uh, do it that way so that I can work out my offsets, right? So you always want two left spin on your shot and then back spin as needed to be uh, short of the hole as required. So that's where the wind, the wind, not the wind strength tweaks, but the backspin tweaks go. So, so because the drive rolls out different yardages, you're going to use different amounts of backspin on the shot. Always two left spin, but you'll be different amounts of backspin. So what I'm doing is I'm offsetting based on the amount of backspin that I'm using because the backspin is going to pull that ball to the left. And so the more backspin you got, the more it's going to pull it to the left, which means the more you need to offset it to the right. All right. So if you're using 4.3 to 5.0 backspin, you need to offset it about 0.8 of a square right and three quarters of a square short. So that's what I got here. And I just wanted, this is why I'm showing you this. Actually, I'm not sure that I am done moving that around yet. I guess I am. So with 4.3 to 5.0 backspin, if you can see there, I was about three quarters of a square right, and I was short probably a little over a square with the tip of my ball guide. And the line was good as far as my offset to the right. However, I needed to leave it. A little closer to the hole I had 
a little bit too much backspin for the distance the tip was from the hole. So if you're doing 4.3 to 5.0 backspin, then you need to have it three quarters of a square right and three quarters of a square short. I was a little too short on that one. If you're doing 3.5 to 4.2 backspin, it needs to be just short of three quarters of a square right and one square short. And then if you end up with 2.8 to 3.4 backspin, then you're going to want to have it a half a square right and about one and a half, a little less than one and a half squares short. So understand, right? The more backspin you got, the closer you need to put the tip of the ball guide to the hole because it's going to stop faster. And also the more backspin you have, the more it's going to kick the ball to the left, which is why you have to offset it further to the right. Uh, if you play around with this one a couple of times, see how it's coming in for you. You should be able to tweak this out and get it in the hole. But worst case scenario, very easy eagle, very safe eagle, and a pretty good look at the albatross. I just, you're going to need to play around with the offsets because your pull angle is going to change that. And, you know, whether you pull heavy or you pull light on your adjustments, that's also going to change it. Uh, so just pay attention. Tweak out your offsets and should have a really good look at the albatross on hole number six. P3 plus 55% at 25 slider pushing up 10 rings for men. I'm always pushing up 10 rings for men and adding backspin as needed always to left spin. Okay. If you've changed the left spin or you change the push up, then these tweaks will not work for you. You'll have to find your own. All right. Good luck. Hope you get the drop and we'll catch you on the next one.